Okay, so this is the 2013 Nissan Sentra. As you can see, it's a really well-designed car as far as the style. Um, you know, normally you associate economical cars as being kind of lame and unsporty-like, but this one actually, it's pretty sporty. Okay, so I'm going to give you a walk around the car, and then I'm going to show you the uh, slight body damage that I've discussed. So as you can see, it's right here on this rear door and this little area here behind the door. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and freeze the video here. <clears throat> I didn't realize when I filmed this that the passenger door, um, the front door, the one on the, uh, on the right that you only see a portion of, I didn't realize that it was slightly ajar, which it is. So the seam between the doors incorrectly appears larger than it is. At the end of the video, I reshoot for just a few seconds with the door completely properly closed, and you'll see that the seam is actually perfect. So I just wanted to uh, draw your attention to that so you didn't think that uh, there was damage that there isn't. So um, let's get back to the video. That's it. And to me, that does not look like uh, a traditional car accident. Um, in fact, this has a one owner zero accident history report. So this incident was never reported, uh, was probably never claimed on insurance or anything like that. And I believe it was somebody, as I said, you know, driving up to like, you know, a pillar or a garage door or something that was too tight, something along those lines. Um, but that's it. The rest of the car, as you can see, is really, really nice. And I'm going to go ahead and get in the car and demonstrate a few things for you. Okay. One of the first things I want to show you is what I call ease of start. So as you can see, my foot's not on the gas. I'm going to put the key in. And it just starts right up like that. And it does that each and every time. Now I've got the AC on. And the AC on this car works real well, really well. I'm going to go ahead and show you. It's got 91,000 miles. So very, very low miles. And I'm just going to go through all of these things. So there's your driver's window. There's your passenger window. passenger rear and there's your driver's rear so as you can see the little damage to that passenger rear door doesn't even affect the travel of the window it goes up and down just fine okay so as you can hear the stereo is working and it works fine and you've got controls on the steering so that changes the stations and of course that changes the volume so uh, you know that's nice I'm just going to turn it off okay so I'm going to do the uh, the power uh, mirrors so there's left there's right there's tilt up and there's tilt down okay so let me put it in a better spot because I'm going to take the car for a drive too. And there's your right, there's your left, there's your up, and there's your down. So the mirrors work in all eight directions. There's your wipers. Um, I'm going to go park it in the shade for a minute because that is better to show an interior. Because when you have bits of sun coming into the vehicle it's very difficult to um, to show the interior so let me see if I can't get this under the shade here okay so the other thing I wanted to show you is the um, headline fabric the visors are in good shape and the headline fabric going all the way to the rear is good it's not stained by soda it's not torn it's not falling down and let me go ahead and get out of the car and show you the seats. So 
So as you can see, the rear seat is in impeccable shape. It almost looks like nobody's ever sat in it. The rear deck is also in good shape. There's no cracks in the rear window or any of the windows for that matter. The rear portions of the uh, front seats are also in great shape. Um, the door panels themselves are in good shape. Now the driver's seat, that's the one that gets most wear and tear. But on this one, it's in really, really good shape. The center console is in nice shape. The entire dashboard looks good. There's no cracks or lifts in it. And that door panel looks good too. And on the floor there is the passing smog certificate. Okay, I wanted to show you under the hood. The motor is so clean, you could literally eat off it. Um, as you can see there, that battery has a February 2023 date on it. So almost brand new battery. And the important thing I want to show you, and you should always look at, is the quality of the oil. As you can see, it's got a nice amber translucent hue to it. And there's no milkiness to it meaning no water's getting in the oil or anything along those lines. That's important. And the other thing I wanted to show you is if you look down there, it looks like they replaced the starter. So that's nice too. So you got a brand new starter there or darn new. So new battery, relatively new starter, clean oil, and just look at the idle. You see how there's absolutely no vibration while it's idling? Most four-cylinder cars, even new ones, have a bit of a vibration to them, you know, that V6s and V8s don't. But this one doesn't have that at all. Okay, so I'm going to drive down the Desert Inn Arterial here. show you uh, while I'm sitting here at this light is look at the temperature gauge it's not even at the middle and it's fairly warm today I was driving fairly fast and I got the AC on full blast and it still isn't even hitting middle uh, I know I showed you the power windows and the power um, mirrors but I don't think I showed you the power lock so that's locked that's unlocked that's locked that's unlocked that's locked that's unlocked and I don't know if this is going to work, but that's locked and that's unlocked. So you can see that all four power locks work. And the very last thing I wanted to show you is that I think when I videoed the car earlier, I didn't have the passenger door fully closed. But now you can see it is fully closed and the seam lines up really, really well. It wasn't quite lining up before that. So I just wanted to show you.